So this is Yasmani Leiva Echevarria. Um, I'm doing the H-E-E-E-N-T assessment for the uh, health assessment class and I'm from Augusta University SRA program. So first we're gonna look at the skin. Uh, we're gonna make sure that there's no rashes, lesions, or anything like that. Um, all throughout, we're gonna look everywhere. Uh, we're gonna look at the arms, no bruising. We're gonna assess their nail. We're gonna check for capillary reflex as well as how clean they are, if there's anything under it or whatnot. Um, so far it is good. And we're also gonna check the head. We're gonna assess for symmetry. Um, we're gonna um, lumps or anything like that. So I'm gonna also pop it around. Um, there's no rashes or anything like that. Uh, no sensitivity. Um, do you have any pain anywhere? No. Okay. Uh, we're gonna look at the hairline. Um, as well, make sure see the hair pattern and the way it grows and um, how much there is. Um, then we're gonna look at the eyebrows, also check for symmetry. Um, then we're gonna look at the eyes, nose, lips, and give me a smile. Check for symmetry there as well and make sure there's no drooping or anything like that. Now we're gonna palpate for the temporal arteries. They are present about me. So now we're gonna inspect the eyebrows, we're gonna inspect the eyelashes, um, make sure they're all present, there's no swelling, um, palpate the eyebrows as well, there's no swelling present. Uh, we're gonna check the conjunctiva, it's nice and pink, the clear is white, um, the lacrimal structures, there's no swelling or tenderness noted, and there's no discharge as well. And the next thing we will do is do a snelling test, uh, which we will place the, um, the patient 20 feet from the board and then assess uh, what the visual acuity is. Um, if it would be 20 or 60, that would mean that the patient is able to see at 20 feet what a normal person would see at 60 feet or so. So now we're gonna check for pupil reflex. Um, I'm gonna turn my little flashlight on and then look straight at me. Perfect. Perfect. So pupils are equal and reactive and equal accommodation. Um, and then from now we're gonna do the little wiggle test. And then from there we're gonna do the extraocular movement test and then the um, cover and uncover test. So first we're gonna do the wiggle test and then so I'm gonna put my hand to feed. Uh, away from the, the the patient while he's looking straight at me, and then tell me when I wiggle my fingers. Okay, yeah, we're going. We're going. Yes. Okay, and now I want you to follow my finger okay. as I move in different directions. So now this time is present, be a slight bit on the left eye, uh, and then now we're going to do the cover and uncover test. So um, I want you to look straight at me, focus on me, and then we're, gonna, we're looking for movement. So far there hasn't been any. I'm going to do the same with the other eye. No movement present as well. So now we're gonna uh, inspect the eye. Um, we're gonna start by um, looking at his, uh, the red reflex in his eye. Uh, we're gonna start on zero here. Let's see the red reflex. Come on, focus. And then we're going to do the same on the other eye. Okay. 
can see the red eye reflex. And we're going to zoom in. Perfect. So we're able to visualize the fundus, the optic disc, and the vessels. Um, the renal vessels. Now we're going to check um, the septum. We're going to check for deviation. Um, we're going to check also for uh, patency. Take a breath. There you go. Both nostrils are patent. Then we're going to check for the maxillary sinus. Let me know if it's tender or anything. There's no swelling or anything, and then the frontal sinus. Perfect. So um, then we're gonna look into his nasal cavity. Make sure there's no um, bleeding or anything. So now we're going to do the Weber, the Ren, the Ren and the Whisper test. Uh, so we're going to uh, monitor for uh, uh, sensory and your sensory hearing loss or conduction hearing loss. So for the Weber test, we're going to put this on top of your head. Okay. I just need you to let me know if you hear equal on both sides. Okay. Yeah, it's equal. Okay. So then now I'm going to put it in the back of your ear. Okay. You know when you stop hearing it. And then I'm gonna put it in the front of your ear and I'm gonna be still here. Okay. Okay. Okay, John. Yep, I can hear it. Okay. Okay, no. Yep, I can still hear it. Okay, that's normal. And then um, I'm gonna do a group one of your ears and then I'm gonna whisper something and let me know what it is. is okay. It? Okay? Sure. Plan. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to assess the ears, uh, the ear canal. Um, we're going to check for tenderness, swelling, um, any, different, any change in color, um, uh, any obstruction, serum, lesions, anything like that. So for that, I'm going to use my otoscope um, and then I'm going to look into the ear real quick. Um, since he's an adult, we're going to pull the pinna up and backwards. So we get a better visualization of the ear, ear canal. Alright, no serum, no obstruction. Uh, we're able to visualize the malice and the umbo, um, as well as the common light. We're going to do the same for this ear. Same on this ear. Uh, his eardrums were both pretty, uh, pretty great. Um, now we're gonna set the thyroid. Um, for this, uh, we're gonna check. Um, first, we're gonna go from the chin, and then on the main point, we're gonna assess for um, any swelling, any tenderness. Um, so not everything was disproportionate or anything. Um, I am going to get from a high number real quick and I can I'm not sure it's equal and equal on both sides. Um, can you swallow for me? There we go.
check for the little notes, make sure there's no squatting, no turbulence, and then if it hurts, and everything. as well. Um, I will be check uh, for the TMG um, and then I'm going to check his oral cavity. So for the TMJ, I'm going to check for clicking. Um, open your mouth. There we go. Close and open. Move the jaw side to side. Okay. Perfect. So there's no feel any tenderness. Mm -hmm. So no swelling, uh, no click and notice, um, and there was uh, proper movement. Uh, now we're gonna check for the mouth. So first I'm gonna check for, inspect the oral mucosa, make sure that it's nice and um, moist. Uh, lips are pink, no cyanosis. We're gonna look for the gums, gums look nice, pink and healthy, no bleeding noted. Now I'm gonna have you open your mouth, and then I'm gonna look into the back of his mouth. Um, you can visualize the uvula, uh, lip nose on boot swollen or anything. Can you say ah? Ah. Uh, perfect. Uh, tongue looks symmetrical. Can you move it side to side? Symmetrical movement of the tongue as well. So, no lesions were noted or anything like that as well. So now we're going to assess for the brewery. Um, we're going to use the bell of the stethoscope since it's a low pitch sound. Um, Uh, no brewery heard, just normal. <laughs> 